Bitch, everybody know about Spirit. I don't know why these three girls don't know about Spirit, but they found out today. Let's talk about it. Theme music. Okay, girl. Um, bitch, you already know what I'm about to say. So, girl, yesterday, yesterday in the... <laughs> In the, in, in the wonderfully affected uh, city of Fort Lauderdale, uh, three women were arrested for fighting in Terminal 4 of Fort Lauderdale International Airport uh, with spirit employees. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, bitch, I have had my fair share of horrible experiences on spirit and that is why I do not fly them to this day. Spirit lost my luggage with my photography equipment, my laptop, and they never, never found my luggage. But I'm not going to give you all the details because long story short, my luggage was then found, but they had already paid me for it. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that because I don't want to incriminate myself. But the fact of the matter is, these hoes lost my luggage for over a month and a half, and I had no laptop, I had no camera, so I understand wanting to fight a motherfucker. I also understand being pissed off, because even in my experience, when I was calling these numbers and sending emails, it was a lackluster uh, effort to reply to me. I would call the number and nobody would pick up. At Philly, and it's so ironic that these women were going to the Philadelphia airport from Fort Lauderdale, and that is where my luggage got lost in transit, direct flight from Atlanta to Philadelphia. No transfer. So I understand why these women were upset. But the fact of the matter is, everybody knows that spirit is shitty. That's why if you're paying 50 cent for a round trip ticket going here to Jerusalem, you ought to know something is not up to par. So based on what I am finding on the local 10, I'm, I'm assuming this is out of Fort Lauderdale, three women from Philadelphia with these names. Tamaya Wright, 20. Kiara Ferguson, 21, and the Danasia Asia, that's it, honey, Danasia Asia Dixon, 22, were arrested uh, with charges of striking battery, uh, touching, and petty theft. So, long story short, there are two stories that are out there that they got the full out of the airport story number one, and that their flight was massively, massively delayed. Which I have seen, not necessarily on my flights with Spirit, but I have seen with other Spirit flights. Planes are taking off. Delta's taking off. United's taking off. JetBlue. Bitch, we're going to go back to AirTran. AirTran was taking off. But for whatever reason, Spirit, not just one, but multiple flights were delayed for whatever reason. Reason it wasn't weather related, it wasn't God sent Gabrielle the archangel down, and uh, the, the rapture is coming. It ain't no mass flooding, you don't see Noah's ark riding by on the waves for whatever reason. They were delayed. The second story is, is that mamas didn't know, as everyone should, and I will give spirit their due because it says it on the website that mamas got to the airport and tried to bring a carry-on on, right? Say everybody knows that if you bring a carry-on and it is not paid for, prior to you getting to the airport, Spirit charges you some astronomical amount. What I read, they were saying $65, which sounds about right, because Spirit wants you to pay for that stuff in advance, get it checked. And even in my experience, they, it's, it's cheaper to check a bag than to bring on a carry-on, i.e. why I checked my bag and they lost the shit, right? So, mamas got to the airport, got to the terminal, trying to pay, they said $65. They did a carry-on check and the bags were still too big. So mamas was trying to take stuff out of their bag to make the bags fit and it was still too big and the girls got upset. 
They started throwing food. They started throwing full water bottles. Bitch, they started throwing, why am I spitting? You could probably see it. They started throwing punches. Now, I'm not going to tag the video in my video because I don't have the ownership. I don't know how that shit works, but you're going to see the link. I'm going to come on down here. You will see a link to the video of the May Day of the Brawl in Fort Lauderdale Airport. I don't personally understand why these ladies didn't know. I, I will give it to Spirit again. They they smell stuff out. They are you are get you are paying fifty cent to go to Bangladesh. Something in your spirit in your shundo got to tell you, bitch. For fifty cent, I got to bring my own air. I got to bring my own ice cubes. I got goddamn near got to bring my own seat for fifty cent a flight. So something should have told you, okay, let me read this website. And what I can attest to even running my own business, outside of this, I'm a photographer, graphic designer, all of that good stuff. I have two websites and I have all of the stuff spelt out on my website, but I still have people that will call me and ask me questions of shit that is already spelt out on my website. People just don't read. They choose not to read. I know we're in a microwave society. You want to get your answers or get your fix in 30 seconds to a minute. But, bitch, it pays to read. So, honey's mamas was booked. Needless to say, they didn't make their fly back to Philadelphia, to the city of brotherly love. Uh, they were booked in Broward County Jail. Uh, and one petty theft, she stole the phone of one of the spirit employees. Now, girl, come on now. Now, you gonna throw your shit at him. That's fine. But, girl, after you get done whooping that ass, you gonna pick up her phone and take her phone? Girl, I would implore my people, if you ain't got the fly spirit, don't fly spirit. But if you go fly spirit, read the fine print. Read the detail. Because I can, damn, I, I can guarantee and stake my life that you are going to have an experience to where it's like, I ain't flying these people again. I ain't flying them again. I look at spirit every once in a while, and it only had and it had to be with me with a backpack, no luggage, and it has to be a direct flight where you're not gonna get me from here, you know, to uh, I'm going to Orlando, but they got to take me from here to Phoenix, and I get to Phoenix, bitch, and I'm stuck in Phoenix because the flight delayed. Or they up and choose to cancel the flight because they do that too. So I'm sorry that these three ladies didn't read the fine print. I'm sorry that it, there was a delay for whatever reason. But you just can't, and, and even though you want to whoop these people ass, and it could be that the spirit employee, because there are some people that just don't need to be in customer service. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't making the rules. It's, it's a people above them that are making the rules for spirit. But these people at the gates, no matter who it is, be it Delta, Southwest, JetBlue, AirTran, you know, American Continental, you know, all these, the people at the gate ain't got no say so. They just following instructions. And so maybe these, the, the gate agents were, did not have the best attitude because before these, you three came up, somebody else was pissy about something that they had no control over. So their attitude was already jacked up and they gave you a little bit of attitude and bitch, you like, well, bitch, if you don't like your motherfucking job, you don't need to work here. You told to give me great customer service. They was like, girl, customer service is out the window today. And girl, you was in your feelings because you was ready to get back home to your three or four, five kids. And so now, y'all brawling in Fort Lauderdale. Now, what it will teach you, girl, this ain't Charlotte. Fort Lauderdale is not Charlotte. Fort Lauderdale ain't, 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 ain't Phoenix. Fort Lauderdale ain't Seattle. Broward County, Miami Dade. Now, them some hood folks. Now, they, now, now you might, now, as long as you get the first lick, them girls gonna wear your ass out. Them gay agents, cause they, they they are not saying that people from Miami Day to Broward County are a little ghetto girl, but they're a little ghetto. Uh, and so you tried the right folks, I will say that, because I'm sure as soon as you landed your first hit, bitch, it was on and popped in. So with that being said, y'all drop down, look at the video, leave your comments, make sure you subscribe. Share this video. I'm trying to get out to the masses. You already know what I'm about. I'm your boy, His Royal Highness, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. 
Look at subscribe here in the middle. You're going to see two videos right here. Make sure you watch these two videos. And I thank you for tuning in to another episode of Royally Fuck the Vlog here on YouTube. And I will holler at you guys late and turn. Bye.